Okay, so let's try another one of these problems. It says, um, complete the following reaction and write the major product, okay? So, or major products in this case. Um, so the first thing I'd like to do is, um, well, when I see an alkane or any organic molecule and I'm reacting with oxygen, what kind of reaction do we call that? A combustion reaction. It's a combustion reaction, okay? So, Remember, for combustion, reactions, the products are always the same, right? What are those products? CO2. Okay, CO2. And what? H2O. And water, yeah. Okay, so the, the actual problem here is not deciding what the, what the products are, but really is to do what to this reaction? Well, balance it, we gotta balance it, okay? So, um, let's draw our little lines like we like to do. Okay, so you got the product right. Okay. Um, what I would like to do here is, because it doesn't matter what the structure is, is really the molecular formula matters, okay? So let's figure out what the molecular formula of this is. What is that? Five. H, what should it be? CMH2N plus two, right? What should it be? Uh, H12. Twelve, right? Okay. Remember, that's an alkane, okay? So C5H12. I'm going to erase this up here. Can I erase that one and write C5H12? Okay. Okay. So And I'm just doing that just to prove to ourselves that the structure doesn't matter, okay? So when you see those structures, if it's a combustion reaction and it freaks you out, you know, just write the molecular formula and make it easy, okay? So now we just do the normal process where we balance, right? So what are we going to do? C, H, O, C, H, O. How many C's? Five. Five. How many H's? Twelve. Twelve. Of course, how many O's? Two. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have here? Five. C's? One. H's? Two. Two. And O's? Three. Three. Okay. So, five, well, one times what equals five? Five. Five. Okay. So, C, five, we're going to put a five mm -hmm. there. What about 12? What times 2 equals 12? 6. 6. Okay, so we're going to put a 6 over there. Okay, okay so why did we do that? Because now we have 5 C's and 2 times 6 equals 12 H's. Okay? And we have the same over here. But now our oxygens are balanced, right? Because over here we have two, but here we have how many now? We have 16. Yeah, so two times five is 10, plus six is 16. So let's erase this one. We're no longer looking at three, we're looking at 16. So what do we got to do over here to two to make it 16? Divide by eight. By eight, yeah. And that equals 16. Okay, so let's put an eight here. Okay, and let's just check ourselves again. So, five carbons, five carbons, that checks out, right? Twelve hydrogens, twelve hydrogens, that checks out. Sixteen oxygens, sixteen oxygens, that checks out. So remember, every time, so good job, this is the right answer, okay? So remember, every time you're doing these uh, combustion reactions, you want to put your CHO here, CHO here, then balance the C's and H's over here, okay? And whatever the O's give you, you write that down here, then go back here and balance the O's, okay? Okay. Any questions on it? No. Okay, wonderful. Any questions? Questions? Yeah. Um, I have no idea how to do this, so. Okay. Um, I'll just ask you. But, I'll, is it on the screen? Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, is it on this question here? No. Okay, we're recording this question oh, right oh, now. Oh, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> it's quite all right. So, so, are we done with this one then? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Any other questions on this one? Okay, wonderful.